Children's Hospital Los Angeles is at the forefront of developing new techniques to make surgery safer and less traumatic for patients. Doctors at Children's Hospital Los Angeles are turning to new technology like surgical robots, which combine the precision of a machine with a human surgeon's knowledge, skill, and experience, enabling miracles in the operating room. Pediatric urologist Dr. Chester Coe embraces this new technology, and for him, the Da Vinci robot is fast becoming standard operating procedure. Today we'll be using the Da Vinci robot. Uh, this is a uh, newly installed robot here at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Uh, it really represents the next generation of minimally invasive surgery for children. The Da Vinci system is a remarkable new machine that allows surgeons to perform minimally invasive surgery with an unmatched degree of precision. Using the robot, skilled surgeons are able to enter the body by making small incisions through which miniature surgical instruments and tiny cameras are inserted into the body. It's truly science fiction come to life. The Da Vinci surgical system comprises three components. A surgeon console, which is the brains of the system, the vision cart, which is the eyes, and the robotic machinery itself, which acts as the spine, the hands, and the body. Da Vinci provides surgeons with all the clinical and technical capabilities of traditional open surgery, while enabling them to operate through tiny incisions. The robotic instrumentation mimics the movement of the human hand, providing the surgeon increased dexterity and control. If I have a motion such as this with my hand, uh, basically the robot will also mimic that motion as well. Not only does the robot replicate every movement that the surgeon makes, it does so with even more precision and steadiness, enabling much less invasive surgery and much quicker healing. Uh, we're able to use smaller incisions, so this leads to several advantages such as decreased use of pain medication, uh, leads to small incisions that actually look better afterwards, they heal much faster, and we can also usually send these children home much sooner than if we do a larger open incision because the recovery time is shorter. The system also gives the human surgeon enhanced vision with a magnified 3D image of the surgical field. Unlike conventional laparoscopic surgery, it produces unparalleled views of tissue planes, vessels, and other important structures. We have better control of our movements and better visualization. We also have the increased magnification that the robotic surgery gives to us and that we can see better. We feel very comfortable with Dr. Ko, and he was excited about using the robot, and so then we jumped on board, of course. Today's the day that eight-year-old Natalie Corpus will undergo reconstructive urological surgery. Both Natalie and her parents are happy to have Dr. Ko and the Da Vinci robot working together to perform the operation. It's great to have a technology that allows it to be less invasive. Um, you know, the turnaround time at least for healing is supposed to be a lot quicker. So looking forward to, you know, that's a big thing for having, especially since Natalie's only eight years old. She kept asking questions now, what does the robot look like? How does it get inside me? But she definitely knew that a robot would be performing the surgery with Dr. Ko's help. <laughs> Pediatric surgery using robots might be futuristic, but the concerns of parents are timeless. They just want their child to tolerate surgery with as little discomfort and disruption as possible. Okay, we're good to go. Now, with the aid of a robot named Da Vinci, Dr. Ko and his colleagues can help make that happen for Natalie. Okay, Dr. Ko, you're ready to start. We're gonna start incision. Can you start incision, please? First, the surgeon will make small incisions in the child's abdomen in order to insert the robotic arms. A tiny camera is inserted to examine the part of the abdomen they will be working on. Now, it's time to bring on the robot. The robotic arms are carefully inserted into the incisions of the patient. The camera enables the surgeon to see the instruments inside the body. Now, Dr. Ko sits at the surgeon's console and begins operating. Watching the robotic hands through the three-dimensional Da Vinci display, he, in a sense, becomes one with the robot, using its hands as his own. When the operation is complete, the robotic arms are removed, and the doctors will close the incisions. 
Despite having major surgery, Natalie will be back in school in less than a week. And within a month, she'll be back to playing sports and running around like any other eight-year-old girl. We're doing things better. We are actually uh, making that next step to uh, more advanced uh, movements and more advanced surgery for our, our children.